Good afternoon, in fact. <coughs> it's time. Why is this music beautiful? To me? I don't know. He's still just playing with that theme. This is the fourth uh, piano concerto played by Daniel Barenboim, but he's in that one, that's the start. And he's still really just playing with that theme. We're about 11, 12 minutes in. Goes on for 30. Eight minutes, I think. Right, so, what's the answer then? Justice versus injustice. Well, <coughs> this is the last page of the New Testament in my Bible, entitled The River of Life, no less. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city. And his servants will serve him. They will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. The angel said to me, these words are trustworthy and true. The Lord, the God of the spirits of the prophets, sent his angel to show his servants the things that must soon take place. Amen. Now, that's the answer. And it's the end of Revelation, of course, uh, written by John, as in John, the Gospel of John, on the island of Patmos in his later years. It's that one line, actually. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. So I haven't got the answer, but God does have the answer. So when we're all united, in heaven, having left this veil of tears, one way or the other, <laughs> having suffered or not, as the case may be, then in some magical, mystical way, we are all Christians, that's Jews and Gentiles, going to be united in heaven. There's actually this millennialism thing, so it may be that there are actually going to be a thousand years of 
beautiful life in this earth with peace and love and all that sort of thing, Christians loving each other in a proper way for a thousand years. That's what millennialism is about before Christ's second coming. So I don't understand that. We clearly are not living in those beautiful times. We're still in the sort of birth pangs. If you look up the passages about the end times um, in Matthew, Mark and Luke, the synoptic gospels, not in John, uh, where wars and rumours of wars and disasters and natural disasters and man-made disasters and many things that need to come to be in this earth before the end times actually arrive. My spirit just feels that this coronavirus is a sort of, there's pestilence is, is, is one of the things, is a sort of precursor to the end times. That's what I've picked up on. And then that's going to happen. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. So that's the answer to injustice. Stephen was martyred, but I don't think he felt a thing when they stoned him because he was looking into heaven somehow. He could see the angels. It's a magpie, it just went by. Hmm. Heaven is within. It's not out there in the world. It's up to each of us to find our way to God. Christ came to guide us. And as we live day by day, this is the only day we have, of course. Yesterday's gone, tomorrow hasn't happened. So let the woes of today be sufficient unto the day. And there we are. When the sun comes out, isn't this just such a lovely spot? <laughs> that light through the trees. Right, so there is an answer. Justice will come. God will heal us. It's so important not to let one's own troubles uh, destroy one's faith or divert one from loving God just because you've had troubles. It's actually exactly the reverse. The more somehow adversity that life gives you, God gives you, uh, my mother would say this, philosophers envy those who suffer. So Someone who just sails through life, oh, all fine, 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 and does all the, ticks all the boxes and, you know, etc. Has missed out, in fact. One wouldn't wish suffering upon anyone, but it does seem that somehow it's necessary to teach us to go through life and have one's, uh, as with um, the biography by Irving Stone of uh, Michelangelo, the agony and the ecstasy. So somehow There needs to be the agony 
to appreciate the ecstasy are men. <laughs> See what Beethoven's up to.